Hello folks, this is Jason Goldtrap. I'd like to speak about the power of a magnet. In September, I went on a vacation in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, and Mobile, Alabama. I had a lot of fun. And you see, I started collecting magnets on the trip, so I've got these different places that uh, I went to. Thoroughly enjoyed myself. Alan, uh, today I passed out these introduction to evangelism kits. Once again, they are 25 cents to make, and uh, you can make them yourself. I do not sell them. I will never sell them. <laughs> I've got a cat trying to climb my back right now, so I'm sorry. Okay, but uh, yeah, I don't sell them. I never will sell them. You can make them yourself. Just 25 cents to make. And I gave out a lot of these today to I, uh, a, a, pet, a uh, nail place I visited because I had to get a pedicure because my feet look like a sloth. Um, and uh, then I went to Cracker Barrel. I went to a police station, a fire station, a hospital, and another police station, and also Publix. And all these people are being encouraged today because of this one little thing. Put that Bible verse on their fridge and you know remind them that those who sow in tears shall reap in joy you can make these yourself it's a great class project 25 cents to make all you need is three by four uh, kits uh, clear plastic uh, envelopes and get those from uh, Michaels uh, the business card background stickers uh, magnets you can get those staples and then the uh, individual cards you can get those at bookstores for about 15 cents each Christian bookstores or you can order all this stuff on Amazon like I've done and that uh, is uh, a lot more efficient but you know what I would love to have every single person who I gave these to show up at church on Sunday and you know if they don't or if they never enter our church door they will at least know God loves them and that they have been told that they're special I went to the uh, Publix today and everything was just chaotic as you can imagine a few days before Thanksgiving and I told him I said look I worked in a grocery store myself back in 1985 so I know what it's like to be to work on a holiday week where it's all crazy but I just want to let you know God loves you and here's something encouraging for you to have for you and the staff and thank you very much for your service to our community so do your part folks find find your niche and do your part for God's kingdom thank you very much